courtroom packed with New York firefighters as a convicted killer of one of their brothers was sentenced to 25 years to life. It brings closure more than three years after firefighter Faisal Koto was murdered in a road rage attack on the Bell Parkway. Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. Joseph Desmond was defiant to the very end, even as the victim's mother sobbed uncontrollably in the second row, even as the victim's brother struggle to hold it together. He took away someone who meant the world to so many people and he took away our moments. He took away a mother's favorite son. <sighs> Faisal, was <mama's, laughs> Faisal was a mama's boy and his goal in life was to take care of his mama and to make sure she was always happy and set in life. Faisal Koto was a New York City firefighter, the 33-year-old victim of a brutal, spontaneous murder. After a minor accident on the Belt Parkway, Koto pulled over to exchange information and was beaten to death by the other driver. Police tracked the car to a motel in New Jersey where Desmond was arrested. Prosecutors say he was a gang member from Staten Island, once convicted on hate crimes charges for attacking a gay man with a stun gun. Cota was off duty at the time of the murder, but his funeral in 2018 drew hundreds of firefighters, including his colleagues from Engine 245 in Coney Island. Desmond was later convicted and was sentenced today. Fire Union President Andrew Ansbro. We lose far too many members to, to the line of duty, but we, we also take care of the members that are in our family that, that we lose off duty. In court, Desmond offered no remorse and questioned the evidence in the case. It is a falsified, corrupted evidence. With that, the judge imposed the maximum sentence. It's this court's earnest hope and desire that you never, ever be released from prison. District Attorney Eric Gonzalez praised the sentence. The murder, he said, was the kind of senseless attack that shakes our society.